I want to take just about a minute, maybe even a minute and a half, to show you just how painless that is, how simple that is to do. Uh, I got a holster here and a magazine pouch. Uh, what I've got is uh, it's already dyed lighter brown. It's got edges done in chocolate with a dauber, uh, just because I want that full strength and it's painfully easy to do. Uh, the magazine pouch is flat, sewn together. The matching holster has got uh, some shape to it. It's already partially formed and I'm doing this just to show you that you can do this uh, simply uh, before or after the leather is formed. Doesn't make any difference. And so I'll get a layer brush ready and I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, so what I have here is a middle of the road quality uh, double action siphon feed airbrush uh, loaded with about a half a cup, I think that's about an eighth of an ounce of uh, chocolate brown leather dye. Uh, I got my holster and mag pouch, obviously. I got these patterns. There's a guy, this bald-headed guy always running around that leather worker site talking about holster patterns. Um, I'm going to show you one thing today that these really work pretty well for. You know, if you decide to download some of these, I'll show you one good use for these. Okay, we're going to take this. You guys might recognize one of these. Not that it matters. Uh, this material and the only other thing that I've got sitting here today is a pair of gloves uh, just to keep the chocolate brown largely off my fingers so I don't have chocolate brown on the next project where I don't want it. So we're going to not get in a big hurry but uh, this is going to kind of make a point so we'll start with that. Everything's ready to go and okay I'll be back in just a minute. Hopefully you can see some of this how this is working I'm going to get a little bit of spray coming out. Okay, and all I'm going to do is just kind of angle that and push. A little bit of air, a little bit of dye. And I'm going to kind of try to keep the airbrush aimed towards the center of the project. Really nothing critical about this. I'm going to turn this just because it's easier to do this and it just deflects my wrist that far. Again, I'm just going to go around the edge with the airbrush kind of angled. Uh, Almost like I was skipping a rock. There you go. That's all there is to that. I'm going to flip it over just because I want to do both sides of this one. Uh, you notice uh, I'm using a light brown thread. And because I want it to match, I went ahead and stitched it. I'm letting the thread be dyed right alongside with the rest of the project. I'm not really concerned about how far it's going in. I'm just trying to be consistent. And that's all there is to that. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to show you how the same thing works here. Switch my grip just a little bit. Again, these wonderful patterns that uh, they are available for free. You stick them inside of a partially formed holster like that and it makes a real nice way to not spray dye inside the holster. There you go. If you're wondering why all those patterns are available, this is what they're for. They're to keep you from spraying the inside. I'm going to get my thumb out of the way. Obviously, I'm right-handed. Obviously, it doesn't make any difference which way you go, which side you start on. It's immaterial. Doesn't matter. I do want to follow the contour so that I get it fairly even. Again, you can see the, the purpose for the glove. I'm going to flip that right over and do the same thing. Now you could do this, obviously, set this on, a, on an easel or a pedestal, even on the table. I'm just doing this uh, in my hand because I'm trying to keep it rather mostly pointed at the camera. Really doesn't make any difference. Okay, you see my die cup is just about empty. 
which is immaterial because I'm done. Now, if you take a look here, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like three and a half minutes if I'm talking too much while I'm doing it. Pull this out, pitch that, the guy that made this won't care. And there you go, you got a fancy little thing. You might notice there's a, it's not particularly skilled work involved here. Uh, the line down, you might have noticed the line down the center, that's a watermark that will disappear when I form it, it's not a problem. And there you go. Just that simple. Eighth of an ounce, what is that? That's a four ounce bottle. So there's 32 of those in a small bottle of Phoebe's dye for five bucks. So somebody do the math and figure out what's five bucks divided by 32 of those. And, uh, and there you have it. Simple.